Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from St. Philip Lutheran Church. I am Pastor Brad Doty, and I am so excited for this new year. As we reflect on this last year, 2022, all of that we experienced, the things that we did, the things that we went through, it often impacts the way we look at the future and the things that we want to do or add or not have in our lives in this coming year. As you create New Year's resolutions and goals for your life this year, I encourage you to think about the mind, body, and spirit. We often reflect on our physical health and wanting to be healthier, whatever that means for you. But it's, it's because we're able to see it and affects how we feel physically. We think about the emotional aspect of our lives because it affects how we feel and our, um, our, how we look at things. We often don't really reflect on our spiritual side of our lives, the spirit, because it's not something we see and it's not necessarily something we feel until something happens in our lives. And then we reflect about how, what our faith is like or our trust in God or talking about doubt as well. So this year in 2023, I encourage you to reflect on the mind, body, and spirit. To talk about that spiritual side a little bit, is it for you, is it for your family, or is it for your kids, and maybe all of them? Thinking about the kids, uh, we have so many great ministries going on with our children, youth, and families. Melinda, our children, youth, uh, and family director, is doing such an amazing job. So our kids want to be here, whether it's Sunday school or adventure club for our fourth through eighth graders, uh, or confirmation, or our high school youth, and our young adult ministry that's starting up as well encourage you to have your kids be involved in those activities as they create that foundation for, of their faith for their life. Such an important piece for our kids and a great way for us to fulfill that baptismal promise that we have made to our child, to our children. When it comes to you and your life and your spiritual life, what does that look like for you? Is it needing, wanting to come to church more often on Sundays or Saturdays as we begin our Saturday evening at worship service for January, February, or March, meeting the second and fourth Saturday at 5 p.m., coming to join for Holden Evening Prayer and worship and fellowship? So the first one is January 14th at 5 p.m. here in the sanctuary. Maybe it's uh, spending more time with God. Maybe it's a devotion, reading a, a, a devotion book, or maybe it's uh, attending a Bible study and, uh, begin, and reading more in it to Scripture. We have so many different Bible studies here at St. Philip, some during the day, Tuesday, or Wednesdays in the mornings for men and women, and then a Tuesday night uh, for uh, men at Paul Sealander's house or Mondays uh, with me at Locavore Beer Works for pub theology. Grab a beer, enjoy great conversations of different brews and different views. It's a great time to be able to enter into the Bible and have conversations about different uh, topics. So join us for one of those Bible studies. Uh, or if you have an interest of a different kind of Bible study or a different time or date, let me know. Let's talk about it. I'm sure we can uh, have uh, others uh, who uh, are interested in that as well, and we can join and form one as well. Maybe it is uh, spending more time in prayer, spending time with God uh, in that prayer. We have a group that meets on Zoom every Wednesday evening uh, to just be together, to pray together for our community, for those on our prayer list, and for our world. So many different opportunities uh, for us uh, to uh, reflect on that spiritual side of our lives and how that impacts us as we look at our whole selves of body, body mind, and spirit. Deacon Cora is doing stretching over scriptures starting uh, next uh, Monday, uh, January 9th at uh, 5.30 p.m. here at church. Come do some yoga. Hear those scriptures uh, as you uh, enter into uh, that spiritual uh, side of your life, uh, really reflecting on that. 
And finally, our Silver Sages, our 55 plus group, is meeting this Friday at the 6th here at the church at 9 a.m. to have a speaker, Kat Peterson, who's going to come and talk about mind, body, and spirit. So, blessings to you as we begin this new year. As you reflect on your life, as you reflect on the body, body mind, and spirit, I encourage you to join us here at St. Philip this year to truly engage at that spirit and spirituality of our lives. And at Deacon Cora and I on Sunday mornings for faith formation after worship at 10.30 a.m. are going to be talking about that, talking about how we have those different pieces in our lives and how they are spiritual and how they affect our faith and how we can look at them from the spiritual side. So join us on Sunday mornings as well. Well, I am so grateful for you, and I pray that God may bless you and bless you this new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.